Sibley is a community filled with pride. Pride in their country and pride in their agricultural roots. But downtown, the windows are boarded up, the old tavern sits empty, and pride may seem hard to come by. There's a lot of folks like myself that would like to see it maybe back to some resemblance of what it used to be. Don Meyer and Marge Vetter remember the way things used to be. It's why seeing downtown struggle has been tough. You know, there's no grocery store here in town. Um, and our, our post office has, has limited hours now, so things are decreasing, people are moving out. It's the reason the community is coming together to help reverse the trend through restoration. Well, we hope to return all the businesses buildings back to as close to what they used to look like, uh, including the graphics on the windows of who was there on a certain date and when they left, and, and uh, try and bring it back to the way it used to be as much as possible, which isn't possible, but as close as we can. Through historic photos and memories of town, they plan to rehab the storefronts together as a community. A lot of participation from uh, uh, local folks and some other so uh, we think we're going to get there. We, our, our goal is to have this done by the 4th of July, so I think we're going to get there. For this to be happening, I, I'm glad to, you know, see the revitalization. Thanks to funding from locals and a donation from the Bank of Gibson City, the project is underway and allowing for many opportunities for discovery. So each corner we turn around is something different and kind of fun and reminiscing and, of course, a lot of folks that either lived here then or still do, are gladly participating, and so it's been, it's been fun. Fun to breathe new life into a community and restore not just buildings, but also pride in town.